And the last stage in our experimental design is to actually share out the results. This is a part of the process that is absolutely, it's the fundamental piece of science. It's sharing the results out there and almost hoping that someone will take a close enough and high quality enough look at your work to be critical and to offer added insight. How many times have you, like, been hanging out with all your buddies and, you know, this happens all the time. I'm sure, you know, you got a MacGyver or something because you have a flat tire or there's no tire and now you have to, like, use the toothpaste thing to make a new tire and then one person by herself probably couldn't think of how to use the toothpaste container thing to make a new tire for the broken down car, but someone else coming into the mix, like, oh my gosh, have you ever had that happen where now all of a sudden brainstorming happens and ideas happen and things are better because of the communication process? Probably if you guys were all out there in reality, like listening to me, you'd probably help me come up with a better example other than making a flat tire fixed with a toothpaste container. <laughs> Whatever. So that is an example of why scientists actually share out their data. It wasn't that long ago when they, some group of scientists, I think they were in Germany or something, I can't remember, but they um, found that a neutrino, which is a little subatomic particle, went faster than the speed of light. And they were like, what? Einstein was wrong? And they like, it was this huge scientific upheaval. This is crazy. What are you talking about? This is not possible. And the scientists were like, oh my gosh, we have checked our data and checked it and checked it in our design and we've checked it a million times and we don't know what's going on. Somebody look at this and tell us what's going on because they were having a really hard time drawing the conclusion that Einstein was uh, incorrect. And in fact, they shared out their data and found out that no, there was some kind of issue or something that they had overlooked that allowed that made it clear that no, that neutrino did not travel faster than the speed of light. That's the value of community. That's the value of communication. Now, in this class, even though it's a face-to-face -face class, we're actually going to engage in online conversations with each other with the goal of ensuring that we have skills for communicating with each other and communicating well and clearly and precisely and concisely. Oh, because that's modeling the process of science. Having those conversations is the process of science. All right. Now we're going to, uh, well, that's it. I have nothing else to say. I'm sure I could think of things because I am starting to feel like, dude, what else can I tell your kids about Santa Claus? but I'll try not to. And instead, I'm going to stop, and so are you. And I'll see you in class. Bye-bye.